Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I wanted to make a video showing uh, how I was able to get the uh, Samson Go mic to connect to an iPhone, um, or really just a device with the lightning port. Um, also, with a USB Type-C, you can connect it to anything. You could use a you know regular USB-A. I uh, just want to show the cables I'm using. It does work, and uh, how I set it up. Kind of simple. I really don't have the greatest way to uh, hold the iPad to show this because I'd normally use my phone. With the uh, Go mic, it's kind of old. I think it said it came out like maybe in 09 or something, or maybe even older on Amazon. So it's using uh, Mini, USB Mini, which isn't really a common cable anymore. So the way I was doing this when I used this microphone in the past... I'm not sure if it came with the cable, I would think it did, but I had this PS3 controller, which uses a uh, mini USB, and that would go into the mic, and then I have uh, this adapter that would take my USB-A and put it into Type-C for newer things like a MacBook or any other Type-C device, or you just use it like that traditionally. But that's a longer cable and an adapter and kind of convoluted. So now I was able to get this OTG mini USB to type C on the end. I think it's a 10 inch cable. So with this, I can actually use this with uh, an iPad Pro or any other type C device like a MacBook or most devices now that use type C. And it would also work with Android phones. But the real um, thing to convert this over is you need this Type-C to lightning adapter. And this one's specifically for audio. So it's not going to be, um, this won't transfer data. I don't even know if you can use this to charge, but you do need a specific one to do audio. I think maybe there was like a Apple official camera kit or something camera adapter i'm not sure but this was 15 dollars. kind of expensive for this little four inch cable but you need this to convert this over now obviously this isn't the same type of connection this is completely different i'm not sure that if they would make a c to lightning in a form factor like this that would just stick out um there was one but i don't know if it worked for this it may have but that's people had some complaints. This works really well. So I would just go ahead and get this. So now with the uh, explaining out of the way, just because it only worked if you use that specific cable, you would plug this in if you had USB-C, but since we're going into an iPhone, hook this up, um, go ahead and open my phone, plug it in, and the microphone's powered on. So it is uh, connected, and one way to record with it would be, you can just clip it right on. And it, it's not the cleanest setup, but it's not awful either. And that's one way. Or if you have it on a tripod, I'm just using this mini one, you can do it like this, and you could Go around. I think this needs tightened up a little bit because this pivot's not the um, strongest, and it's all plastic, so you might have a limited lifespan on that. But I'll go ahead and show some other devices. So what you can do here is also I'm using an iPad Pro, so it has Type C natively, so I don't need that Lightning cable um, adapter for this. You would just need that for an iPhone. You would need it if you had a uh, non-Type-C, I think just all the other iPads are still lightning. This is the first cable I showed. There are some options as far as um, a mini USB to Type-C, but I wanted an OTG short cable. If you needed a longer cable, there's probably even more options, but there weren't too many with this, and this one had decent reviews. The one that's way more picky is uh, this one. And it's more expensive probably because I don't know if it's a, uh, like an Apple certified cable, which would pay for the licensing. 
but either way it's more expensive and it's kind of specific so that's why it costs that but those are what you need to make it work so then um i can bring that down i think it'll change the volume you can clip this up here so there you go and again i don't I hate that i need to probably tighten that up again a little bit more because if i put it like that it's gonna push it up and if i bring it down it puts a little more tension on the cable but it will hold it and we should get power here which we do and you can see it'll pick up uh, any clipping and this one does show that it's uh, sensing an audio device the iPhone didn't do that, but it was connected because I've recorded with it. And uh, I think I've done videos on this mic like years ago. I wouldn't recommend them because they're probably terrible. Um, if people would actually care about this video, I could show uh, me uh, using the mic. I'll probably make just my next regular videos with this microphone in whatever application I'm using it with, whether it's my phone or a screen capture or something. But it is open. And if you didn't know, with... Uh, iOS, you once you go into the camera app and record, if you have a connected USB microphone like this, or if you have a lightning adapter to a 3.5 millimeter jack for a lav mic or something, it'll just automatically route the um, input audio from that uh, connected device. And <clears throat> lastly here, I'll go ahead and show, this is connecting into a MacBook Pro with the Type-C, which I think pretty much all Mac MacBooks at this point are. And uh, as you would expect with, uh, you know, actual computer, USB mics <clears throat> going to work just fine. And it's picking me up clear from over here. That's one thing I really don't like with this microphone. It is like really hot. So for, uh, if you're going to be using it, like right now, I'm pretty close to my phone, which is the audio on the phone. Uh, there is a negative uh, 10 dB, which sometimes you do lose some ambient sound if you're trying to get something more than close quarters. So it wouldn't really work in the sense of like a shotgun mic where you would have it on your tripod, depending on the outfit. I mean, this isn't the greatest quality mic either, but it's, it is much better than the built-in audio. It's not like a game changer, but uh, especially for like a computer for like a zoom call or something it is going to be much better than a webcam mic but you know your thousand dollar smartphones ipad pro iphone pro it's better but uh, it's not the uh for what it is is like a 40 dollar microphone but i wanted to show it is neat because you can use it with all these different devices and with that uh, somewhat expensive lightning adapter you can use it with an iphone too and one thing when i was ordering i got this just the regular like microphone windscreen because as far as I know, you can't get a pop filter for this. These are terrible with plosives, but this doesn't really help either. I mean, a windscreen and a pop filter are two completely different things. But I was hoping that it would uh, fix it, but it didn't come close. And I kind of got this idea from uh, another video where they, they did it a little different. They kind of folded it. So what I did was made it tight, sewed it, and then just cut off the excess. Now the, you're just sewing through like this open cell foam, so it could tear if you're too rough with it. So I guess if you were going to take it outside, that might kind of at least work for wind noise. But as far as a pop filter, I'm not sure, especially if you wanted to keep it portable and like attach it to your phone. That'd be really hard to do because you'd more or less have to somehow put like a little bit of a spacer and kind of attach it here. Obviously, it wouldn't be hard to make a custom one. But to get this to mount to it would be a little bit of work. But that's entirely a separate uh, issue. So uh, the Go mic is pretty uh, a pretty nice uh, piece of audio equipment for the price. And that is kind of cool with the versatility. I came up with this idea from the uh, Shure. I think it's an MV88. I wanted to get that for my iPhone. I've seen that and I've had it in my watch list for years. But... It, you can get them on eBay much cheaper. Uh, at that, at those eBay prices, they're kind of worth it, but I don't think it would fit in my phone case. I'm not gonna, while I'm recording outside, fool around taking it off and drop it and break the phone. So they have the MV88 video kit, which is kind of where I got this idea. It's kind of like, it's a condenser mic, but it's kind of in a shotgun mount. 
and it has the same, that's where I came with the adapter idea. Uh, again, it's basically the same cable for type C, and then it has the adapter, for, separate cable for the lightning. And I uh, just figured I could try and come up with something and it did work with this. So I, it's hard to spend 250 compared to $30 in cables and 40, which I already bought years ago for the microphone. Uh, I might keep an eye out. I probably still would rather have that shore over this, but uh, I just wanted to put that out there. You can try it. Make sure to get that specific audio only through the uh, lightning adapter. Uh, hopefully that helped you out. Uh, let me know if you have any idea of uh, trying this. So uh, thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.